Hello and welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to convert a value to JSON data type by using JSON conversion function. First of all, we'll see what is JSON conversion function, what it will do. By using JSON conversion function, we can return the JSON type value or an object for a string or XML. So if you're going to provide an input as a string or an XML, by using JSON conversion function, we can return the JavaScript object notation type value. All right, let me show you a small example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having an XML of the employees, which is containing the details of name and the email address, right? This is the parent node and the remaining or the child nodes, right? This is in the XML format. Now, when I have taken the XML value, I need to convert that into JSON format. How can I go ahead and do that? By using JSON conversion function, I can go ahead and I can convert the value into JSON format. All right. I have already created a flow with the name of expressions flow. Over here, I'm manually triggered a flow. I have given the input value over here in a format of string so that First, the value, what are the value I'm going to give it? That value, I'm going to convert that into an XML. From that XML, I'm going to convert the value once again into the JSON format, right? Over here, I'm going to give the input as string. And then if you see in the compose, I'm going to select the inputs over here. And I'm going to select the expression over here. What is the expression? What is our agenda over here? That I want to convert the values into JSON format by using conversion function, right? You can see over here, I'm having XML values and the JSON value. Now, if you see the JSON value, convert the input to JSON type value. All right, let me select that. Over here, whenever I'm going to give the input, that input I need to convert into XML format first, then that the type of the string will convert into the XML. From there again, I'm going to convert into the JSON, right? For that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use XML and the value, what is the value that the input that I'm going to get it from the manually triggered flow, right? I'm going to select the input value over here. Let me click on OK. Now, to show the output, what are the output that we are going to get it from the JSON conversion function uh, that the output I'm going to store it in the Excel. Now, if you see on my screen, I'm having expressions in the workbook. Inside that I'm having table one and where we are having the column as expression output. Here we'll store the data. What are the output we got it from the particular flow? All right. Now I'm going to add a new step over here and I'm going to select Excel online business and the action I'm going to use it add a row into the table. Let me select that. Now location and document library, I'm going to select them as OneDrive for business. On the file name, I'm going to select it as expressions. On the table, I'm going to select it as table one. And once I have selected the table one, I will get the I need to provide the inputs over here at the expression output. What is the output that I need to provide? What are the outcome that are coming from the JSON conversion function that output I will store it in the Excel, all right? Now, if you see, I'm having the outputs over here. Let me select that. Now, I'm going to save this flow by clicking on save. Now, our flow is ready to test it. Let's click on test. Now, I'm going to select manually and then I'm going to click on test. Now over here, we are going to give the input, which is the input that I have shown you. That is the input in the XML format, right? This is right now I'm going to give it in the string format so that it will convert first into the XML and from there to JSON, right? Now I have given the input value over here. All right, let's click on run flow. Now the flow has been executed successfully. Now we'll see the output first in the Excel file. Now if you see the output over here, the data has been converted into JSON format. Let me select that first. Now let me paste it on the notepad. Over here you can see the JSON format that is JavaScript object notation, JSON. Okay, that you can see employees and the name is Amir, email ID bashar.amir86 at the rate of gmail.com. 
all right if you see over here in the compose that we will get the outputs from the here you can see the same output over here that is employees and the name is amir and the email address is basher at amir 86 at the rate of gmail.com this is in json format all right this is how we are going to convert a value into the json data type by using json conversion function i hope you understand how to convert a value into json by using json conversion function now I will explain you another conversion function that is XML conversion function. First of all, let me start with an example over here. If you see right now, what we have done, we have converted an XML into the JSON format. Right now, I'm going to do vice versa. In a such a way, I'm going to use JSON file and then I'm going to convert into an XML by using XML conversion function. All right. Now, we're going to make a small changes in our flow itself. What are the changes that we're going to make it? First, if you see in the compose, previously I have converted a value into JSON format. Now, over here, what we're going to do, we're going to select or we're going to choose the option over here that is XML conversion function from the conversion functions. All right, let me go to the expression over here. And there we're going to select XML value. That is the conversion function we're going to select. If you see over here, it will convert the input to an XML type value. You, you can see over here, there's a small spelling mistake over here. That is covert is there. All right, let me select that. Over here, I'm going to select JSON, the JSON value, which we're going to give it from the manual trigger flow. All right, I'm going to select the input over here as input value. Let's select that. Let's click on OK. Now what will happen by using this XML conversion function, whatever the input that we are going to give it, it will convert into XML format and it will return the XML version for the particular string. All right, we'll see that. Now let's click on test. And I'm going to click on save and test. Now we're going to give the input value over here. If you observe over here, I'm having the JSON format over here, right? Employees, that is the node that we have and the name and the email ID that what we have. Now let's click on run flow to see the output. Now the flow has been executed successfully. Now, if you go to the Excel that we need to get the output in the XML format. All right, let's see that. Now, if you see over here, we got the output in such, such a way in the XML format. Let me copy that. And if you see in the notepad that we are having the same thing, employees, name, email ID. This is the parent node, employee is the node, and inside that I'm having child nodes as name and the email ID. This is same what we have in the XML format. All right, I hope you understand how to work with JSON conversion function. And also we have seen how to work with XML conversion function as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.